I also want to touch today on what listing mistake could potentially lose you 20,000 or more dollars when it comes to the sale of your home. The largest mistake you can make when listing your house is overpricing it too much. And that's not to say you don't list a little high and see what happens. I, depending on the market, depending on the situation, depending on the price you're talking about and the price range you're talking about, that is absolutely a strategy, listing a little bit higher and reducing if necessary. But there is a level of overpricing you can go to that will absolutely lose you so much money in the long run. And what happens is typically, for example, when I sit down with a seller, I have a low and average and a high range. And I say, this is the low, this is your average, this is your high. As we've walked through the house, I can key in on the fact that you are coming in a little above average, just not, ex not on the highest end, but right in between. So I would recommend listing at, let's just use an arbitrary number, of $150,000. That is what I would recommend listing at. You're right in that average of average to high. Based on that, I can tell them, given the fact that the market is so hot right now, that there's low inventory, that we are coming into a boom right now and a surge, I would recommend listing about five, maybe $8,000 above that. I would not recommend going beyond that because in certain price points, you tend to lose markets. So for example, at $150,000, if you list at $149,900, you get a whole section of buyers that was in the $150 and under, plus the ones you would have gotten $150 and over. So you get a whole nother pool of buyers by listing $100 under $150. But if I say, you know, list at the $159,900 because you're five dollars or $10,000 over because the market's so hot, it just because you have potentially lost that, that group of, that pool of buyers, it's going to keep you hot enough given the condition of your house and those variables as well. However, if the seller then says to me, well, I would really like to try for 189.9, which is so much higher than market value, a lot of people will look at that, go through the photos online and just rule it out entirely because they either one, don't think it's viable to put in an offer that would be competitive or two, just don't see the value in the condition as compared to the price. So you lose a whole section of buyers that you would have gotten if you had listed it 20,000 under. And not only that, now it's sitting for longer. So now you're hoping to find one person in an already very, 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 very small pool now that is willing to pay that. And the probability has now decreased dramatically. And now if it sits past 30 days, statistically, any offers that really start to come in will be lower offers or low ball offers. So what happens is the longer it sits, the more stigmatized the listing gets, the more people wonder, oh, what's wrong with that property? And the more people start to low ball because they know that it's sat for so long. So that is why when it comes to listing, when it comes to pricing your property, being strategic about it is so important. And listing on the high side is not a bad thing as long as you do it strategically with an understanding of where the market's at, if the market's shifted, and what your pool of buyers are that you're working with, what their price points are, knowing those $100,000, $150,000, $200,000, um, basically pools of buyers that change as you hit those price points, very important. So just know it's so important to price your home correctly. It's okay to overprice it a little bit, but going way too far is ultimately going to lose you a lot of money in the long run. If you have any questions, let me know. If you're wondering a little bit about what, what your pricing and what your, your home should be looking at in terms of condition versus price, um, what, that, what that should look like when it comes to you personally, please reach out. Let us know. We can give you a valuation, um, even if you don't want a list right now, but we can offer that. If you have any questions, we are here to help. I hope you all have a great day. <music>